What's up, everybody? John the Morgile here, checking in for a quick book review. We're going to do a summary. I wanted to put this together, and I had just been putting it off, but just a summary of my unadulterated review of the book, uh, Confusion in the Cosmos, in order to help people consider whether this book is a good buy for them. I actually recorded the audio book a few months back and put it up on my channel for free in its entirety, but I also wanted to include this brief overview and review uh, because I think it is important that we as a community purchase physically printed literature that can serve a purpose in the process of waking people up to the revelation of Flat Earth. Uh, now with this one in particular, I think the only place to start is the fact that this book, uh, Confusion in the Cosmos, is going to be very helpful and effective for certain types of people in a very particular niche and not so effective for anyone that falls outside of that niche. Um, the reason I say this is because Confusion in the Cosmos is unique in the sense that it's uh, rather strictly confined to biblical arguments and documentation for the flat and motionless Earth. While there are some common sense points made about the flat earth reality uh, throughout the book, um, it's by no means intended to be like a scientific uh, brass tacks physical argument for flat earth or like against the heliocentric model. Um, but instead, this book tackles the subject uh, strictly from the Christian biblical standpoint. And for that, I think it's highly effective and very important. So like for people that are atheists or like Hindus or even like Muslims, uh, Confusion in the Cosmos is probably not going to be the best flat earth book for them. So like you wouldn't want to buy this for them. But on the other hand, I personally know of a lot of people who have, you know, Bible believing uh, angelical Christians in their families or in their close circles. Uh, who refuse to even consider Flat Earth because of the cultural taboos that we all sort of understand that the subject comes with. Uh, when it comes to this particular type of person, then Confusion in the Cosmos is definitely a book that you'd want to buy for them. Uh, you know, for like your pastor or your parent who uh, is like self-proclaimed evangelical Christian. Um, then, you know, after you buy them the book, you can point them to the audio book that I got on my channel. Um, so there's no excuse for them to not read it, right? It is well-written, well-researched. The documentation backing up the biblical references are uh, accurate and relevant and Really, any Bible-believing Christian will have a hard time, uh, you know, ignoring Flat Earth if they actually read this book, or at least listen to the audiobook after you give them a copy. It's much easier as like an icebreaker to have a physical book to bring to the table. Um, as we all know that it can be difficult or even at times like embarrassing uh, to bring up flat earth, you know, at the table or like in a social setting, right? Uh, let's face it. Most people consider the flat earth topic as absolutely ridiculous and taboo, at least at first. And so any tools that we have at our disposal to help people come to realize this truth, you know, the more the merrier, right? Um, Anyone who says they believe in Yeheshua or Jesus or anyone that says they believe in the Bible really needs this book as a starting point, I think. Um, there are plenty of books out there that focus on the geometry and the physics arguments, whereas uh, this one is unique in my opinion because it focuses more on the scriptural support for the biblical era, seeming to understand the geocentric reality. like. They didn't think it was a spinning ball back then, for sure, right? So, you know, I'm a firm believer that each individual person is different, and so, like, you know, a, a variety of tools is better than, say, like a hammer for all jobs, right? Um, in this regard, Confusion in the Cosmos is great for your friends, family, or parishioners who are Bible-believing Christians. Um, it's not the sort of book that's intended to be universally useful as a tool for everyone. But when it comes to our loved ones who are Christians, 
then you know confusion in the cosmos is a very fine-tuned tool in my opinion in that arsenal that um, we as the ushers of revelation for our friends and family uh, can use whenever we're faced with um, you know the loved one or the pastor that just doesn't want to hear nothing about flat earth privately uh, let alone bringing the topic to the forefront of the church's attention right you would think, and I, I believe, Flat Earth should find an easy home in a Christian family or a Christian church um, because, you know, so many scriptures do support the foundations of the fixed and immovable world uh, enveloped by Sheol below and the heavens above where the world is like, you know, likened to God's footstool, right? I think that as a tool in the belt of the evangelical Christian Flat Earth movement, um, this book is essential and an easy way to, you know, uh, get flat earth in front of our Christian friends and family uh, because it is pretty meticulous and shows dozens of examples where, uh, you know, flat earth geocentric cosmology is supported by scripture. Anecdotally, I remember years ago speaking to a young woman who tried to bring flat earth up to her pastor, her Christian pastor. And he literally had her committed into a, an insane asylum for, I think, I want to say a week, but it might have been a month. I can't remember how long she was in there. But yeah, she, she tried to, you know, she was very excited about it, brought it to her pastor privately, and he had her committed. So while that's probably not the norm, um, and it is kind of drastic, it goes to show that anything's possible. And it can be very helpful to have uh, a refined sort of presentation and a buffer between us and the people that we're trying to help. So with that being said, if you bring your pastor a copy of the book and say like a polite request to read it, or at least listen to the audiobook, um, it could prove to be, you know, the perfect vector to get flat earth in front of your church um, without you personally risking any sort of life limb or your reputation with your church. Uh, I'll put the link in the description where you can order it, but it's on uh, AmazonBooks.com. Uh, thanks so much for watching this quicken. And uh, again, confusion in the cosmos, you should run out and get it if, you know, you've got loved ones that are evangelical Christians that just don't have time or won't listen to you about Flat Earth. If you get them this book, it might actually help. And I, I think it will. So go get you one. All right. <laughs>